My name is Dan Addy, Technical Sales and Engineering for Detroit Speed, and today we're going to talk about DSE's test cars. The DSE test cars are a vital part of this company. Without them, our products would not be what they are today. This is why we drive to the shows, we compete in the autocross, go to the track events, so we can get real road and street miles on these cars. The first car we're going to talk about is DSE's 1966 Mustang. One of the most common questions we get is what wheel and tire size can you run in these cars? Well, with the DSE Aluma frame and a 66 Mustang, you can fit an 18 by 9 inch wheel with a 6 inch backspace. You can also use a 265, 35, 18 tire size. What we've done here is we've upgraded to the Meyer front end. So what we're allowed to do is an 18 by 11 inch wheel using a 315, 30 BF Goodrich rival tire. On the DSE Mustang, we've obviously installed the Aluma frame along with the shock powered leak plates. We're also using the DSC JRI remote canister double adjustable coilover shocks. Also using the DSC engine modular mounts along with the DSC Coyote headers. And as you can see, we're able to fit a Boss 302 Roush Yates Coyote engine making about 550 horsepower at the flywheel. And to keep the engine cool, we're using a CNR racing radiator module along with ball fans. Now for the rear wheels and tires, using the DSC mini tubs, we can run an 18 by 11 inch wheel with a five and a half inch backspace using a 315-30 BF Goodrich rival tire size. Now to do the five and a half inch backspace that'll give you that deep dish look, we have to narrow up the rear axle. So what we normally do is on this car, we went to 52 and three quarters from axle flange to axle flange on the rear axle. Now what that means is basically with the wheel and tire off and the rotor, where the studs come out of the axle flange, if you measure from that surface to the other side, that's your rear axle. Now what we've done here, is we added these fender flares to kind of move the wheels and tires out a little bit wider to give you a wider stance. So here, we're only running a three and a half inch backspace on the 18 by 11 inch wheel and still using that 31530 BF Goodrich rival tire. We have also installed the DSC weld-in subframe connectors as well as the quad link. And same as the front, we're using the DSC JRI remote canister double adjustable coilover shocks. We've also has a DSC narrowed for nine inch rear end with Mosier axles and true track and currently we're using a 456 gear ratio in the car. Next we're going to talk about the wheels and the brakes. Now for the wheels, we're using Formula 43's three-piece wheel. This design is the Rad S5. As you can see we have it blacked out. Of course they have many other different powder coats and finish options. And of course they're wrapped in BF Goodrich rival tires. We also use bare brakes. What we have here is the 14 inch rotor and six piston 6R caliper. What's nice about that is not only is it a monoblock caliper to help with brake fade, with the 6R designation, means it has a quick brake pad change option, so you can change brake pads during testing or at the track real quickly. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the exhaust and the fuel system. Now for the exhaust, we're using the MagnaFlow 3-inch exhaust system, and in the feed the engine, we're using the DSC Super Tank 1000 series narrowed stainless steel fuel tank, which uses a dual CTSV fuel pump system along with the speed controller. Next, let's take a look inside. Now inside the car, we're using the Sparco Evo seats. I did a steering column. We have the whole car wired with American Auto Wire's Classic Update Series. And to keep us cool going down the road, we've got the Vintage Air Gen 4 Magnum AC system. We're also using a six-speed Tremec transmission tied to a Dynatec drive shaft. We hope you enjoyed this inside look of the DSC 66 Mustang test car. And if you have any questions, please call us at 704-662-3272 or look us up on the web at www.detroitspeed.com.